Very good. How are you? Good. Thanks so much. Um, just go ahead and start off. Obviously, a big match on Sunday against LAFC. Uh, give us your thoughts heading into that. I mean, we have two very important matches um, that will decide our, our destiny, our future. The guys have done a very good job in this uh, second part of the season to put ourselves in, in a good situation to now uh, compete in these two games to make playoff. Um, and we understand as well that we need to put the work first against LAFC, which is going to be a very difficult game. We, we all know that it's a good team. They have a, a good roster and they are fighting for su support shield. So we, we know we have to be our best. Uh, the good thing is that we're going to play with our fans uh, in our stadium and we're going to feel that energy and I think it's going to be a very good game and so far what, what I've seen from, from my players uh, it's been a, a good week of work. Um, of course it's always uh, more difficult when you have uh, uh, two weeks that you don't play um, but uh, that also has helped us to be able to recover some players um, and be able to have uh, almost all the players available. So this is a positive and, and we're ready to be able to play. All right, we'll go to questions. We'll start off with Sam. Hi, Coach. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk today. Um, LAFC, a team, like you mentioned, challenging for supporters' shield. They're, they've been on a bit of a, of a dip in their form recently. It kind of feels like some of their attacking pieces haven't quite been clicking. Um, how much is that factoring Yeah, I think I think they, they have had a few upsets, um, but I still think that they're a very good team. I still think that in their mind they're not looking at themselves as uh, we're struggling. I think that they're looking at themselves as we're strong and uh, we're looking to to win support a shield. So we're gonna get uh, for sure the the best version of them. Um, but uh, we have seen. Uh, a lot of games we have seen the things that they do well we have seen maybe areas that we can uh, try to uh, um, take advantage of um, and they're probably thinking the same thing I think two teams that will be well prepared for uh, this match and in in a very good game to to be a part of and just as a quick follow-up in preparation for that match LAFC is there a team that likes to have the ball likes to play with the ball Yeah, they like to, to have the ball, but uh, I think they're a little bit different than what they used to be. Um, I think uh, they try to be um, more organized at times. At times, I think uh, a, their counters uh, are part of their game as well. I think it's not only about trying to possess. I think it's also sometimes to make sure that they sit uh, compact and, and from those positions uh, try to get quick in transition to attack. So. We need to be aware of that. Uh, we have seen that as well in, in a few games that they have played. So uh, it's not the no one dimension. So um, we, we have looked at everything. We have prepared for, for all scenarios. And, and for us, uh, you know, we, we're just going to bring our, our plan and execute it. And so the guys have the ideas very clear. We had time to work. And, um, and I think that's why it's going to be a very good game. No, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of uh, desire to, to continue, to move forward. Um, you know, the guys have done a, a great job to stay competitive uh, in the second part of the season, to at least have a chance to qualify. It's in our destiny to make playoff. Uh, so we have to make sure that uh, we are as, as good as we can be. Um, and we have to make sure that, you know, we go game by game as we have done so far. And, and especially the, this game against LAFC is going to be a tough one. Uh, but getting three points uh, will put us in a very good situation, uh, but we have to put the work um, because we know that uh, we haven't accomplished yet what, what, we, what we want. Um, we just put ourselves in a good situation. And uh, these two games are going to be key, um, you know, RSL uh, afterwards, but we have to focus everything that we have to this game because it's going to be a tough one. 
Right, and and in recent games, other than Santi's uh, tying goal, uh, there hasn't been a lot of scores in the run of play. It's been a lot of set pieces, penalties. Uh, is that something you've talked about with the team as far as an area of improvement heading into, into this final two? Yeah, I like more the other stat of uh, that we've been consistent scoring goals. Uh, whatever sure. way we're going to score goals, uh, I think that's important. So we, we're just going to continue to work on scoring goals any way possible. Um, and, um, and for me, I think that that's, that's very important, uh, that the guys have that in mind and, and continue to work in order to make sure that we're good defensively, to continue to improve in that area, and that uh, we can continue to uh, find goals anywhere that, that we can. How's the health of the team right now? Is everybody uh, going to be available? Or in will that in the majority, uh, good. I mean, I think uh, probably we, we have to see one more player if uh, how he, uh, he feels tomorrow. Uh, and uh, then if that player also, you know, feels okay, uh, then uh, he will, you know, make the roster. But we have to see tomorrow. Besides that, I think everybody else uh, pretty much uh, are in a good place. Everybody had, you know, time to be able to recover um, in the majority. So uh, we pretty much are, are, you know, very healthy. I wanted to, yeah, just to address one more thing to the guys uh, out there that I forgot to say at the beginning. Uh, but, uh, you know, extremely sorry. Um, and uh, if they can mention, you know, a, 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 a coach uh, passed away last week, uh, Tim Hackinson, um, and we all feel, you know, uh, he's lost. And, um, and if they can, you know, mention him, remember him, he was a, a, a special person uh, for soccer in the United States. And uh, you know, for me, it's important for me to recognize some of the, the great things that he has done. So we feel sad um, that uh, now he's no longer with us, and and we uh, will be praying for his family um, in order to hope that they, they stay healthy and, and, and they, they do well. So um, all the best and rest in peace, uh, Tim Hackinson. Thank you.